before and after hello photographers and welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to talk to you about viveza 3 of nick collection 4 now this is a phenomenal piece of plugin because it can do very extreme fine tuning and create some phenomenal photography let me show you some example so that i you know exactly what i'm talking about now, first thing first i've got a folder and i'm going to drag and drop a photo now that could be you know landscape portrait um any kind of photography thing is each of them has their own style so i'm going to uh drop a very colorful photo such as this one right the reason why i'm going to do i'm doing it because you know it has color that's it color it has all kind of color it has beauty you know it's a very happy photo now this is how the viveza 3 looks like uh, on the right hand side left hand side my apologies has all the preset now believe me or not all of them are just a piece of work they're beautiful fantastic you can just use one of them and just move on do some fine tuning on the right hand side and then move on that's it you don't really necessarily have to you know spend hours and hours and hours fine tuning it now thing is if you are like me and you want to use your own way i would start with neutral and then start from there so that i can do some beautiful fine tuning it now on the top you have you know compare left and right side by side we're gonna get it to it later and you can zoom in make it completely full you can do one-on-one -on -one zoom and drag and drop so that you can do some beautiful fine tuning mm, you can even have two and one to go to the extreme zoom i'm gonna click fit and on the right from the top you have loop loop is basically you can have this pin you drop it anywhere to have an idea what is going on at one-on-one -on -one zoom uh, not the most amazing thing that i use because you know i'm more into make it look good and move on to the next photo but you can move your cursor everywhere and you can see in the loop that is moving and you can see you know all the details pretty amazing now in the histogram um is the typical histogram if you're familiar with any kind of photo editing software this is just uh the tool where you can actually see all the information of rgb and luminance now enough jibber jabber what i'm going to do i'm going to edit this photo and i'm going to go from top to the bottom i'm not going to use all of it but i'm going to explain you um you know what it does individually now global adjustment is just the tool you can find pretty much every single photo editing software in the planet you have your typical brightness contrast saturation structure shadow warmth and you can control the r g b and hue um if i'm looking at the histogram only thing um it lacking is uh, some skin tone um, adjustment and some color but we're gonna use the selective tone and we're also going to use the control points to fix it individually now in the selective tone i'm going to reduce the highlight just and touch i'm going to add some color now you can use the selective tone right there and uh do that easily using slider my personal favorite is going to the curb and if i want to add black i can just move the shadow a bit forward and now you can see that it got really nice and contrasty which is pretty amazing now i'm going to push up a little bit from the lower shadow side now remember one of those instagram faded look if you want that let's say i'm going to do it right now i can do that using pushing up the shadow you see that it's already got nice and faded amazing isn't it and 
pull down the lower shadow side, pull up the mid tone, and pull down the upper white. Look at that. You already have a faded uh, Instagram Vosco look. This is just amazing. Now in the white balance, obviously you have the color picker. And I don't have any kind of uh, pure white here, I believe. And I like the warm look. So I'm not going to touch it a lot. What is the interesting thing here is the selective adjustment. So I'm going to click the control point, put it on the model's face, make it as wide as I possibly can. And you might want to know like where is going to affect. So I'm going to click this little tool, show height selection control point. Voila, boom. You know exactly where it's going to affect. Now I want, so to be precise, the white means that this is where you are going to affect the person uh, or the image's um, tonality. But if you want the skin to be affected, you can point that into the skin of the subject and in exactly, exactly where this is going to affect. And I'm going to make it even bigger so that you know that all the skin tone of the male and the female going to be affected. But you can also clearly see that it's also affecting the other side of the image. How can I pinpoint precise exactly where um, it's going to affect? For in this case, the skin tone. In the color selectivity, you can start with the luminance. Now, if I go to 100, it's going to affect the lower side of the image, lower luminance size of the image. What I mean by that? I'm going to speak English now. So I'm going to turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on. So if I go to 100, it's going to the most brightest part of the image. You want proof? Let's show you. The brightest part of the image, this yellow one, and the brightest part of the skin and the palm. I'm going to turn off this one. You can you know exactly what I mean. If I go backward, now clearly it's almost perfect because it's affecting the skin. But I want to make it as limited as possible from everything else. So this is where the chrominance comes. So if I go forward, you can see that it's more and more and more and more and more concentrating on any color similar to the skin and is avoiding everything else. So the white one is the skin, the dark one is where it's not going to affect. For example, if I go all the way to the left, it's affecting practically every single color. So the if you go forward, it's concentrating to only on the skin. Now you can again go back to the luminance and then fine tune it a little bit more. Now this is just perfect. Yep, it is affecting a little bit all the foliage, but the, our priority, the skin, is also going to be affected and that's exactly what we want. Now let's get to work. What do you want? I want the skin to be a little bit more, you know, standing out. For instance, I'm going to go to one on one, zoom in to the face. I'm going to do a final check. There you go. And then I'm going to add some saturation. Add a red a little bit. I'm going to tell you why. Because if I don't do that, the skin may look a little bit bluish or greenish in my, my taste. Let me go back to zero and then you know exactly what I mean. Now it looks a little bit greenish tone, which I don't like. So that's why I'm adding a little bit red. That's fine. Um, and also add a touch warmth, like about 15. It's getting better. Reduce the green. Boom, it looks nice and red. And reduce the contrast. And also reduce the structure. The reason why I'm reducing the structure because if you add structure, let me show you exactly what happens. It looks way too punchy. You never want it on a human skin's face. You want it to make it nice and soft. And let's go back to the fit. 
and I'm going to show you before and after. There you go, before and after. Zoom in one one to the person before and after. That is phenomenal, right? I think most of our job is done, but 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 I'm going to add a little bit of warmth in general everywhere but before i do that i want to make sure that all the skin tone of the feet as well remains the same so i'm going to copy it so you can either use Control d to duplicate it and i'm going to bring it over to the fit beam i'll do exactly the same thing with the male subjects fit too so Control d again point it on his feet now let's do a little quick side by side so this is our before and that's our after before and after nothing crazy nothing serious nothing um you know extraordinary it's just pure and simple workflow simple is that you don't have to do overdo anything just a subtle change is all matter um and what else is missing by the way ladies and gentlemen many things can be done huh but i like a little bit saturation so i'm going to add a global saturation and i'm going to add a global warmth and boom now again we're going to do a quick comparison before and after so before after before after again before and after are you satisfied because i think i am and if you are satisfied then please do like and subscribe and i see you in future video bye bye